good evening to all of you. Kumusta ang lahat? Ngayon lang uli ako nakapag-live and pardon me for waiting for a little few minutes bago tuluyang mag-start ang ating live. I'm really having a hard time na ma-connect yung microphone dito sa laptop. At ngayon ko lang siya na-connect, so thank God. Nagpipray na ako na ma-connect siya at maging maayos kasi walang tunog, walang audio. Matagal-tagal kasi ako hindi nakapag-live, so gaya ng sabi ko sa mga nakaraang live, ay hindi maganda yung uh, connection. Ayan, meron na mga nanonood. Yes, hindi maganda yung wifi namin dito sa bahay, so naiayos naman siya. And then I just tried last night, sabi ko wala, nagulit ako, sobrang linaw, so... Kaya naman naisip ko nang mag-conduct ulit ng live video. And I promise you na hindi magiging sobrang haba itong pag-aaral natin tonight. It's just a kick-off. Yes, kick-off this 2022 for more live videos na isasagawa natin this year. And actually, I'm pl- planning na mag-shoot ng video after this. Pero naisip ko na, sige, mag-live muna ako before I shoot a video. So good evening to all our viewers. Ang um, una ko pa lang na iset ay 6:30 PM since military time yung dito sa YouTube. Hindi ko na pagtanto na 18:30 pala yung na-type ko, which is 6:30 PM. At 6:30 PM, I was still in the church. Kanina we had a choir practice, so nakauwi ako 7:30 na ako pa yung prepare ng lahat. So yan good evening sa inyong lahat. Uh, thank you for patiently waiting. And then, ang tagal kumunek ng audio. Okay ba? Malinaw ba yung audio? How about the video? Is it clear? Malinaw po ba yung video natin? I hope so na malinaw kasi mula kaninang tanghali, tinatry ko yung connection. Thank you at syempre sa lahat. Hello kay Teacher Margie Ann Cruda na nasa US ngayon sa Arizona. A good friend of mine and she's also an English teacher. Hello, good evening. Syempre sa lahat ng mga maaaga na bumabati sa atin palagi. Nakasama natin si Great Canilo. Si Touch Me TV. Hello, Macman. Yeah, maya maya lang, mag-start na tayo ng lesson. And then, hello, Malina. Medyo dim lang po ang lights. Ayan, medyo hindi ko na na-set up. Wala kasi yung kung katuwang. Ako lang lahat nag-set up. Kaya isa lang yung ilaw ko ngayon. Next time, sige, mas liliwanagan natin. Ayan. Hi! Thank you, Teacher Margie. Nakakatuwa naman. Nagkatagpo tayo rito. Ayan, June Sengiko. Harmonica music video. And yeah, Zandro Suleiman. At sa inyo pong lahat, magandang gabi. Kumusta kayo? Matagal tayong hindi nagkita. Ang dami ko kasing pinagkaabalahan this past few weeks and months. I just got married last 4th of February. So, I'm now Mrs. Aubrey Bermudez Badaguas. <laughs> and I just came from Boracay with my husband last uh, February 9 to 11. So, ang daming experiences at magagandang bagay na nangyari doon uh, during the travel and then I'm going to share that with you sa aming family travel channel, travel vlog channel. Abangan nyo na lang po. Pero ngayon, di tayo mag-focus tayo sa ating topic. I as, I assure all of you na hindi ito magiging ganun kahaba. Sisikapin ko na mga 15 minutes lang. <laughs> Kasama pa yung pakikipagdaldalan ko sa inyong lahat. Alright, so... Uh, our topic for tonight, my dear learners, once again, good evening to all of you, to all our viewers here in the Philippines, to those who are from abroad watching us right now. Good morning or good afternoon. I hope that you are all in the best condition that you should be in right now. Ligtas sa anumang kapahamakan, lalo sa COVID-19. And... Again, I would like to welcome all of you here on our channel. Talaga namang taos sa puso kung gustong sabihin na na-miss ko kayong lahat kung saan na magkakaroon tayo ng ganito nga live interaction na marababasa ko yung comments ninyo. Maaari ninyo i-comment kung nasang lugar kayo para kayo ay aking mabati. Pero mamaya ko nalang babalikan para tuloy-tuloy muna tayo sa atin pong lesson. So tonight, we are going to discuss the 20 commonly mispronounced words in English. Actually, my dear learners, there are a lot of commonly mispronounced words, especially for us Filipinos. It's quite hard for us to understand English and to master the language 
its pronunciation, even I, I will admit, as a teacher, even though I'm an English teacher, I will admit na hindi ganun ka-perfect kung napapronounce yung ibang mga English words. Bakit? Kasi hindi naman yun yung kinalakihan ko eh. Paano pa kaya yung mga katulad ninyo na nag-aaral pa lang? So kung magkakamali man kayo, okay lang, i-admit yung pagkakamali. Pero ang mahalaga, once na malaman mo, ganito pala yung tama. So i-apply mo na yan. Pero minsan, depende sa sitwasyon. Ano po, kasi may mga ilang salita akong ituturo sa inyo or sa mga previous videos ko na ikinorek ko yung pronunciation, pero hindi kasi yun yung nakasanayan nating mga Pilipino eh. I'm teaching them for the sake of educational purposes. Na y- yung kaukulan nung kapag ginagamit sa paaralan, yun kasi yung tama. Pero kung pang araw-araw na pakipagtalastasan at hindi ka mauunawaan ang kausap mo, eh, pwede kang mag-stick dun sa nakasanayan. Pero for educational purposes, for uh, professional purposes, you have to use the correct pronunciation, the correct form. Alright? So I just pick up, I just picked 20 na sa palagay ko eh dapat ninyong malaman. Alright? So let's get started. The first one, my dear learners, is this word. We're talking about the correct pronunciation. Yeah, we're talking about the correct pronunciation. So the very first one, by the way, I have with me my, my, can you see it? Yeah. My whiteboard, mini whiteboard. I'm supposed to ask my husband to buy a new whiteboard a while ago, earlier today, but he wasn't able to buy one because Pandayan Bookshop was closed. Sabi niya, sarado raw. Kaya hindi siya nakabila. So, the first word that you have to correct your perception on how you pronounce or maybe some of you are already pronouncing it correctly. Pero minsan kasi, kahit ako nga eh, pag hindi siya malinaw na nabibigkas, namamali. Eto po. <laughs> Meron akong isang video. I will admit it. I will admit it. When I'm wrong, I'm admitting that I'm wrong. May mga video ako minsan na parang, alam niyo yun, uh, nakutal din ako magsalita. May mga comments ako na-receive sa video ko na yun na yung pronunciation ko sa salitang ito is medyo hindi ganun kalinaw. Alright? Hello, Teacher Janet. Yeah, I'm back. So the first word is our topic tonight, which is, can you see it clearly? Pronunciation. Alright? Again, it's pronunciation. It is almost, it sounds the same with the word pronoun. Pronoun, or in Filipino, pangabay, ay panghalili. Ano po yung pamalit sa noun? Pronoun. Pero ang spelling nito is non. Pronunciation. Karaniwan, binibigkas ito ng mga English language learners na pronunciation. Pronunciation or pronunciation. Diba? Mali po pag sinabi na pronunciation. Hindi po ganon. Hindi rin po pronunciation. Alright? So, paano po, Teacher Aubrey, ang tamang bigkas? Ang tamang bigkas po rito ay, listen carefully, open your ears, pronunciation. Pronunciation. Alright? Pronunciation. You may repeat after me. Kahit hindi ko kayo naririnig. Pronunciation. Very good. <laughs> good job. Pronunciation. It is the proper way how we enunciate or say a word. Yung tamang pagbigkas. Pagbigkas. Pronunciation. That's our first word. Alright? So take note of that. Pronunciation. Now let us proceed to our second word. The second word, my dear learners, is this. If you know other commonly mispronounced English words, you may comment them on our live chat there. Sige po, gawin natin active ang ating live chat dito sa gilid. If you're watching on your mobile devices, sa iba ba yung live chat? If you're watching on your laptops, nasa kaliwa. Sige, as I promise, hindi natin sobrang hahabaan itong video. The second one is this. I'll just show you the word and i'll tell you how do many language learners usually pronounce it and then it will be followed by the correct correct pronunciation this is the second word how you might think it is pronounced is this 
<laughs> Nako, papaluin ko sa puwet ang nagpo-pronounce ng ganito. Yung iba, because the root word of this word is define. Akala ng iba, ang pronunciation dito ay definitely. Definitely. Definitely, matigas, no? Definitely. Or definitely. Alright? Definitely. But the correct pronunciation for this word, my dear learners, listen carefully. Can you see it clearly? Nakikita po bang malinaw? Ayan. Ang correct pronunciation dito ay, pronunciation dito ay, definitely. Again, say it after me. Definitely. 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 Again, definitely. Good job. So that's our second word. Definitely, it is a word which means parang sinususugan mo. Parang sinasabi mo na totoong ganun nga. Definitely, she's beautiful. She is beautiful or she is definitely beautiful. Or in Filipino, talaga namang napakaganda niya. Just like that, alright? Next word is this. The next word is ito. Kapag kayo ay nagta-travel, ay ginagawa nyo ito. How do you usually pronounce this word when you see it? How do you say this word? Some people usually read this word or pronounce this as itinerary. 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 Or itinerary. Something like that. Which is, which are both wrong. Pareho pong mali. Ano? Ang tama pong pronunciation sa salitang ito ay itinerary. Itinerary. Again, say it after me. Itinerary. Itinerary. Again, itinerary. Itinerary. That's it. When we say itinerary, it is basically a plan or agenda. Yung plano mo na sunod-sunod na mangyayari, karaniwan ini-incorporate ang salitang ito kapag ikaw ay maglalakbay. So if you're planning a trip with a group of friends, you might make an itinerary that will enumerate the activities. For example, when me and my husband went to Boracay last time during our honeymoon, on the first day we had our... Uh, uh, on the second day we had our um, scuba diving parasailing, uh, what else? We also had our, what do we call that? Island hopping. So those are the examples of itinerary. All right, that is our third word. Next one is this, number four. Balikan lang natin yung salitang ito. Naituro ko to dun sa isa kong video na may million views na siya eh. Dami nang naabot ng video na yun na naka-blue stripes ako. Itong salitang ito, kaya tayo nalilito sa English, English kasi may mga salita na, may mga silent letters. Ano? Hindi katulad sa atin sa Filipino language or sa salita sa ating mga Pilipino, kung anong bigkas karaniwan, yun ang sulat. Kaya madali sa ating mga Pilipino. Hindi katulad sa mga English words na maraming mga silent letters. At yun yung dahilan kung bakit mali tayo kung minsan ng pronunciation. Ano po? So, this word, eto na po ang ating salita, ang fourth word natin, ang karaniwang basa rito ay binabasa rin yung letter P. Ang basa ng iba ay pseudonym. Pseudonym. Pinipilit maipasok yung letter P, which is wrong. Alright? So, how is it really pronounced? It should be pronounced as, listen carefully, pseudonym. Pseudonym. Again, pseudonym. 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 Letter P here is silent. Alright? Silent pong letter P. Pseudonym. Pseudonym. When we say pseudonym, it is, in Filipino, in layman's term, ito yung tinatawag natin alias or alternative name. Alright? Alternative name ng mga sikat na mga tao. Katulad na lang nila Jose Rizal. O oh, sige nga, alamin ko kung uh, active pa yung inyong memory nung nag-aaral kayo. Ano ba yung mga pseudonym 
ng ating mga pambans, ng ating mga bayani or ng ating pambansang bayani na natatandaan ninyo, ilagay nyo po sa ating chat box or sa ating live chat box. Sa ating comment section. If you're gonna watch this video um, already, uh, ayan, kung papanoorin yung video to na hindi na siya live, ilagay nyo sa comment section. Thank you to our 85 live audience tonight. Next, dito tayo sa ating next word. Alright? One excellent example of this is the author of the Harry, Harry Potter series, which is, who is J.K. Rowling. Alright? J.K. Rowling, ang alam natin sumulat nun, di ba? Pero ang pangalan niya talaga ay Joanne Rowling. So, yun po yung isang example ng pseudonym. Pseudonym. Alias. Alias po. Alternative name. Next naman, eto, bibilisan lang natin yung word number five. Kananiwan itong matatagpuan sa mga skwelahan. Sa mga skwelahan po, we have the word, what, how do you usually pronounce it? How do you usually pronounce it? Kariniwan, ang bigkas dito ng iba, pero sa mga naririnig ko naman sa mga estudyante ko, tama naman eh. Pero may mga nagkakamali, sabi ng iba ay library. Library. Nawawala na tong letter R dito. Kasi siguro, medyo nakakabulol kasi siya. Library. No? Which is wrong. Yan, sabi no. Ang pseudonym ni Jose Rizal ay Pepe. Pepe. <laughs> Pepe nga ba? No? Sige nga. Tama ba yun? Ah, sige. Thank you. Sino ba yung sumagot? Si Jane Zarsadias. Hello. <laughs> later na yung mga shoutout ha. Ang tamang pronunciation dito ay library. Library. Again, it is pronounced as library. Library. Pero huwag niyo babagalan ha, hindi library. I'm just going to the library. It's library. Library. Again, repeat after me. Library. 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 Very good. Good job. Library. So when you say library in Filipino, it is silid aklatan. Silid na kung saan may maraming mga aklat. As simple as that. Alright? Now let's proceed to the sixth word. Eto. Eto ang araw pagkatapos ng Martes. In Filipino, we call it as Miyerkules. I just remember when I was teaching in a private school. In private school, mga English speaking kasi dun eh. Yung mga estudyante ako, nahihirapan sila, sabi, teacher, teacher, ano po ba sa English yung salitang to? Kasi hindi nila mapagtanto. Anong araw kapag sinabi ko nung Merkules, Suwebes, Biernes? Ang alam nila ay English. <laughs> so, ini-English ko for them. Alright, so dito tayo. Pumipiyok-piyok pa nga ako. Okay, this is the next word. Ayan! Naka po, how do you pronounce this? I'm sure naman, alam nyo to, pero meron kasing ibang nalilito. Gaya nga nang sabi ko, in Filipino, kung anong bigkas siyang sulat, pero sa English, merong mga silent letters. Usually, akala ng iba, pinapronounce to us, Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. Hmm. May co-teacher ko pangalan si teacher Wednesday. Wednesday, social, di ba? Pag tama yung pronunciation, social pakinggan. Pero pag minalimo mo sa gua, Wednesday. But the correct pronunciation of this word is, listen carefully, it only has... Two syllables. Two syllables lang po, po, hindi po Wednesday. It's wrong. And you don't pronounce the sound of S here as S. You should create a Z sound. Z, just like the B. Alright? It is pronounced as Wednesday. Wednesday. Again, I'll repeat. Wednesday. Wednesday. That's it. Alright? Wednesday. Wednesday, ang araw pagkatapos ng Tuesday. So it is Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. The seven days of the week. So we have Wednesday. Now let's have the next word. Easy lesson lang naman to. Um, correct pronunciation lang, no? I'm just supposed to have this live and then ask you, you can ask me questions, any questions that you would like to ask regarding English subject, but then I just, 
I just uh, realized na mas mainam siguro kung makakamus- makukumusta ko na kayo, meron pa ako maituturo sa inyo. Kaya sabi ko, sige, mag-isip ako ng simple lesson for you para may matutunan kayo. Now, let's see to the seventh word. The seventh word is this. Can you can you read it? <laughs> Nako, ako nung bata ako, lagi rin akong mali pag binabasa ko to. The seventh word we have is this. Di ba? May silent word, may silent letter din siya, kaya nakakalitong basahin. This seventh word usually pronounced as subtil, subtil, subtil. Kasi may B nga naman, di ba? Subtil. Which is wrong. So we should pronounce this word as subtle, but very soft. Again, listen carefully. Subtle. Again, subtle. 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 And when we say subtle, all right, when someone or something is being subtle, they are not obvious. Pag sinabi natin subtle, hindi siya halata. Hindi siya halata. It's just subtle. It's subtle. So for example, kapag may English movie kayo na papanoorin, minsan yung tema, yung aral na gustong ipahatid nun ay pinaparating ng mga gumaganap ng writer, ng author, na in a subtle way. Okay? In a subtle or conveyed through metaphors. Hindi siya direct ang sinasabi. Ano po? Hindi halata na makikita mo agad. Hindi siya direkta, hindi halata. That is the word subtle. Again, say it. Kahit walang nakakarinig, kahit di ko kayo naririnig, pwede niyong ulitin. Say subtle. Subtle. Good job! <laughs> so that's our... That's the... Ha- that's the seventh word. Now let's proceed to this one. Naku, ako rin nagkamali rito. Huwag kayong maglalala. Kung nagkamali kayo, nagkakamali rin ako before sa mga salitang pinuturo ko. We have the eighth word, which is this. How do you read this? Siyempre, kapag unang kita mo, ang basa po dyan, teacher Aubrey, ay debris. Ay, debris. <laughs> debris. Ah, di ba? Debris. But, the correct pronunciation for this one is debris. Again, say it. Debris. Debris. Again, debris. Debris. All right? Again, say it after me. Debris. Very good. So when we say debris, isa na naman itong halimbawa ng salita na may silent letter. And the silent letter here is letter S. Hindi mo po pwedeng sabihin debris. Debris. No? Medyo padulasin nyo yung dila nyo para kapag nag english kayo, hindi siya ganun katiga. Say, debris. 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 When we say debris, my dear learners, um, ibig sabihin nito is yung mga tira-tira. Debris. Yung mga naiwan. Ano po? Debris. Right? Subukan nyo nga gamitin sa pangusap yung salitang debris. When we say debris, remains of something broken. Something broken down or destroyed. Yung mga natirang mga kung anik-anik, anik-anik, kung mga maliliit na kung anuman sa mga nasira o sa mga nabasag, may mga debris. Di ba? Mag-ingat ka, may mga debris dyan ng nabasag na. Ayan, sabi niya, watch out of f- falling debris. Alright, tama. No? Good job. Thank you for giving examples. Pa shout out o oh, sige na nga si Fantastic Alisa. Hello, shout out sa yo. <laughs> Later po yung ibababatiin natin, don't worry. All right, so that's our eighth word. Now let's proceed to the ninth one, which is this. Alam niyo ba, ako rin nagkamali ako rito. It's a simple word na I'll admit nagkamali ako. Nagkamali ako. <laughs> Ito po. Ayan. Itong salita na to, kasi ang pronunciation sa English alphabet ng A is A, just like apple. Apple. That's the usual pronunciation or sound. A. Apple. Okay? Apple. Yan, parang lumalabo ata ng konti yung video natin. Yan, Apple. Alright? Okay, so this word, dati rin, pag pinapronounce ko siya, akala ko as, naartehan ko pa, 
as. Kasi nga, ang tunog niya is a, a. Yun yung akala ko, which is wrong. May mga salita sa English na, although yun yung start, um, beginning letter nila, just like, yung apple, it's really a. Pero itong salitang ito, akala ng iba, medyo kasi mahirap i-pronounce yung s, tas kasunod is k. Parang napagbabaliktad, nauuna si k kung minsan, instead na si s. Akala ng iba, kapag malalo pag mabilis na binabasa, napapronounce as x, na pagbabaliktad nila. No? X. No? X, which is wrong. The correct pronunciation for this word is, listen carefully, straight na pinopronounce yung a, as in a, aso, a, as. Again, listen carefully, it's just simple, it is as. Ask. Ask. All right? We have ask. Ask. When we say ask, it's the, it only means nagtatanong. Ask. Ask. All right? Ask. Ask. Parang may letter H. Ask. Ask. Hindi siya directly one syllable. Parang merong naglalarong pangalawang syllable. Ask. 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 All right? That's it. The next word, when we say ask, it means magtanong. Ask. All right? It's a verb. Next, number 10. Gaya rin ng word na ask, na akala natin dati is as, kasi nga ah, eh, maarte, no? Akala natin, akala rin ng iba, binabasa to as athlete athlete, parang apple, which is wrong. Ang basa rin po rito sa salitang ito is as in a, na direkta, a, just like aso. It is athlete, athlete. So pansin niyo dalawa yung letter E, magkabilaan, napapagitnaan ng isang consonant, which is letter T, it means it's long. Long yung E sound niya. Ath, ath, Lead. Hindi athlete. Hindi athlete. It's athlete. Athlete. Again, athlete. When we say athlete, well, simple lang, atleta, mandalaro. Alright? Athlete. Who is your favorite athlete? Who is your favorite athlete? Who is the most famous athlete that you know? Sino yung pinakasikat na atleta ang kilala ninyo? Sige nga, lagay nyo sa ating chat box. Next, word number 11. The word number 11 is this. Akala natin, ang basa dito ay epitome. Epitome. No? Epitome. Yan yung akala ng iba. When we say epitome, it's not epitome, ha? Ang correct pronunciation dito, pronunciation, pronunciation dito ay epitome. Epitome. Again, say after me, epitome. 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 Yes, isa sa pinakasikat din si Heidelin Diaz, the Filipino weightlifter. Diba? Napakahusay. Eliza Valdez. <laughs> Ngayon, itong epitome. Again, ha, it's not epitome. It's epitome. Epitome. Alright? It is a noun. Isa po itong pangalan. At ang ibig sabihin, something that is the perfect example of an idea. Kung baga yung tipong kapag may naisip ang ganong ideya, siya agad yung maiisip mo na the best na halimbawa na magre-represent doon sa ideya na yun. Alright? Pag sinabi natin uh, kamao ng Pilipinas, may isip agad natin ang perfect epitome noon ay si Manny Pacquiao. Di ba? Kasi kamao eh. So siya talaga yung kilala sa boxing pagdating dito sa Actually, worldwide, a China represents the Philippines. So that's an example for epitome. All right, epitome. Next word. Eto ang salitang ito. Simple lang siya at dapat ay alam niyo dahil bahagi ito ng ating katawan. All right. The next word is this. Ayan, ano ang tamang pronunciation dito? Usually, sabi ng iba, ito ay stomach. Tagalog na Tagalog, no? Stomach. Stomach. O na o, stomach. 
Yun kasi yung spelling, kaya nababasa ka doon. Pero ang pronunciation dito, pronunciation dito ay stomach. It can be stomach, stomach, or stomach. Stomach or stomach. Again, it can be stomach or stomach. Mac or mic. Alright? Pero kung hindi isto, it's sto. Parang tulad ng letter U, just like umbrella. Stomach. Stomach. Alright? That's the correct pronunciation. Alright? Stomach. Stomach. It's not stomach. It's not stomach. It's stomach. Stomach. Alright? Baka sabihin ninyo, Teacher Aubrey, ang arte-arte naman po ng mga tinuturo ninyo. <laughs> <laughs> hindi ka arte lang itinuturo ko ha marami kasi ako na-receive na ganung comment nako hindi ko na mabilang yung mga comments na nababasa ko hindi po ka arte yun yun lang yung uh, for educational purposes kasi itong tinuturo ko huwag na kayo magtaka kasi teacher ako ituturo ko yung for educational purposes pero kung kayo naman eh, nakikipagtalastasan lang sa pang araw-araw huwag nyo namang pipiliting ipasok yung ganung mga tinuturo ko kasi baka di kayo maintindihan ang kausap ninyo alright? <laughs> Next, dito tayo sa word number three. Ito, pasensya na kayo bumubulong-bulong ako eh. Pinapractice ko yung ituturo ko eh. The next word is this. Ayan. Paano pronounce tong salitang ito? Usually, akala ng iba, it is colander. Colander. Diba? May ganun kasing salita, tunog ng letter A. O, oh, o. Oh. Colander. Di ba minsan ang tunog ng A parang O, oh, parang U. Colander, which is wrong. The correct pronunci pronunciation is colander. Colander. Again, and tamang pronunciation. Ang paraniwan talaga alam natin calendar, kalendario, no? Calendar. Yung pronunciation po, yung sound ng a sa unahan is alang siya na derecho. A. Calendar. Calendar. Parang letter E na binaliktad yung tunog. Calendar. Calendar. Alright? It's not calendar. Hindi dar. Der. Calendar. Just like that. Alright? Simple lang naman yan at madali nyo yung matatandaan. Itong salitang ito ay ito po. Malapit na tayong matapos. Don't you worry. <laughs> The next word we have is this. Since the root word of this wo this one is invite, akala ng iba, ang pronunciation dito ay inv invitation or invitation. Alright? Invitation. Kasi nga, ang root word ay itong invite. Tapos diba yan siya? Invitation. Yun yung akala ng iba. Pero pag sinabi natin ganun, that's wrong. The correct pronunciation for this is Invitation. Invitation. Hindi in V. Invitation. Invitation. Parang tunog letter U siya. Invitation. Mas mauunawaan nyo kasi yung mga ganitong pronunciation if you have background idea, background idea, or background knowledge when it comes to international phonetic alphabet. Teacher Aubrey, ano po yung mga pinagsasasabi nyo international phonetic alphabet? Yun po kasi... Kapag tumingin kay sa dictionary, may makikita kayong mga letters na binaliktad na letter E. Binaliktad na letter E. Letter A na may karugtong pang letter E. Letter O, tapos may ganun sa taas. Yun kasi yung mga simbolo. Symbols. No? Alphabet siya, usually sa mga vowels siya. Idinidikit yung mga ganun symbols. Kasi may kaukulan yung uh, particular sound. Just like, for example, the word, this word. Sulat ko lang, ha? Kapag chinect nyo sa dictionary, this word, yan, kapag in-spell ng ganyan, nakikita nyo ba? Itong salitang ito, binox ko siya. Ang basa dyan ay cat. Yan yung pronunciation. Pero yung spelling niya lang talaga ay cat na pusa. Pero hindi mo siya makikita sa dictionary as ganito. Ang ginamit na symbol, IPA symbol, ay eto. Pinagdikit na A and E. Kasi... That is pronounced as a eh, cat, just like that. So yun pinti na tawag na international phonetic alphabet. Ay nagcomment yung sujante ko si Philip Constantino. Hello, anak ko musta. Ayan, thank you sa ating hundred 
uh, viewers tonight na natututo kasama ko. Ayan, so dito na lang na tayo. Soon, ituturo ko yon. Minsan, no, itouch natin sa mga live videos natin yung uh, International Phonetic Alphabets. Pero mas gusto ko siyang ishoot para mas detalyado sa inyo. So, that's the word invitation. When we say invitation, well, basically, it is something that you extend if you want someone to attend an event. So, ako, kinasal ko last month, namigay ako ng invitation sa mga, basically, pangunahing binigyan namin is yung mga principal sponsors, mga ninong nilang. So, yun yung ibibigay mo kapag gusto mong umaten siya sa isang event or occasion ng buhay mo or kung ano mong magaganap. Alright, that's it. Next, dito tayo. Dito tayo sa ating 15th word. Eto, nako. Alam nyo nung nalaman ko ang salitang ito, pinagtawanan ko yung sarili ko. Sabi ko, ay, yung pala yung basa yun. Ang enge-enge ko naman, hindi ko alam. <laughs> well, okay lang yun. Sabi ko nga, matuto tayo ito, manggap ko nagkakamali tayo. Kasi ako, marami rin ako naging pagkakamali na sa pronunciation, na nag-aaral ako. Even kahit ngayon, may mga nadidiscover ako na, ay, ganun pala yun. And, Hello po, Teacher Ambi. Good evening. Ayan ko, Teacher ko. See you tomorrow. Ayan. Bukas na kasi ang start dito sa amin, sa Mikawaya na. Limited, expanded, limited face-to-face. -face. So, ayan, bukas na. Sabi ko, before mag-opening ang classes na limited face-to-face, -face, gusto ko mag-live, gusto ko mag-shoot ng video. Kasi ano ko, magiging busy this week. At sa mga susunod pa. So, ayan, dito tayo. How do you pronounce this word? Nako! Kung sa mga Pilipino, syempre, anong bigkas siyang sulat, sasabihin natin, bori. <laughs> sa guano, bori. Pero yun talaga, kapag hindi kilala ang salitang ito, ipopronounce as bori. Bori. Which is wrong. The correct pronunciation for this one is berry. Berry. Katunog siya nung kinakain natin, blueberry, strawberry, that's it. It's not bori, it's berry. Alright? And when we say berry, ano ba ibig sabihin ng berry? It is a verb. Salitang kilos siya na nangangahulugang something has been placed or hidden underneath something else. Or parang ililibing mo siya, ilalagay mo sa ilalim, itatago. Alright? So, di ba kapag sinabi natin, um, the, the dead body is already buried. Ibig sabihin, na itago na siya sa ilalim. That dead body has already been placed or hidden underneath something else. Usually, nakalagay sa taong nasa ilalim ng lupa. Buried. Nalibing na. Alright? And the pronunciation for this word is bury. It's not bury. It's bury. Again, repeat after me. It is bury. 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 Ayan. So, that's it. <laughs> Alright, next word. So, ang daming nanonood. Marami pong salamat. Maraming salamat. Buried. Buried kapag past tense na. I, I'll just write it ha, para matouch natin. Bury, present tense. Kapag tapos na, past tense na, yung letter Y, papalitan ng I, at maglalagay ng ED. Magiging buried. Buried. The dead body is already buried. It's not buried. <laughs> okay lang yan, no? Minsan matut matatawa kayo sa sarili ninyo, eh. Kasi yung nagkakamali kayo. But then, kapag alam nyo na yung tama, i-apply na ninyo. It's okay. Okay lang, Mekman, no? Ikaw kayo yung pinakamaaga kanina. <laughs> Ayan. Thank you, isa sa ating um, members ng channel, si Eugenio Dionesio Jr. Hello, good evening sa'yo. <laughs> Special shoutout kasi member yun ng channel natin. Next, malapit na tayong matapos. Pasensya na, ha? Pinipilit ko namang iklian yung live ko, eh. Pero feeling ko kasi sobrang daldal ko. Humahaba. Pasensya na kayo. Okay, next. Number 16. Ito ang ginagawa ng mga ikakasal. They are walking down the... How do you pronounce this word? They are walking down the... Isil? Some people usually pronounce this as Isil, which is wrong. Isil. Ang pronunciation po dito ay silent yun, silent po ang S dyan. It is pronounced as I'll. Again, I'll. Akala na ibang pronunciation dito, I sell o kaya A sell, which is wrong. They are both wrong. The correct one is I'll. Alright? I'll. So when you say I'll, yun nga po yung gitna. I'll. 
Alright? Yung gitna, uh, sabi natin, kapag sa simbahan, yung gitna ang nilalakaran, aisle po ang tawag doon. When you become a bride, you are going to walk down the aisle. Again, repeat after me. It is aisle. Aisle. Very good. Aisle. Alright, next word po tayo. <laughs> next word tayo. Eto. Ako kayo ba ay ganito? Nako bukas, simula na ng limited face-to-face -face classes namin. May mamimit kaya akong mga ganitong mga estudyante. Hindi naman mawawala. Actually, sa aming mga teacher, sa aming mga teachers, kung sino pa minsan yung ganito, sila yung hindi namin nalilimutan. Ako yung mga nauna akong estudyante, kapag ganito, hindi kasi maiwasan eh, di ba? May mga bata talagang makukulit. Minsan ko sino yung sobrang makukulit at pasaway na tinatawag. Actually, sila yung sobrang sweet at pagdating ng araw, very remarkable sa teachers yun. Pero hindi na nga nga hulugang, sinabi ko yun, maging makulit kayo sa mga teachers nyo. Pero yun kasi yung karaniwan eh, kung sino yung sobrang makulit, pag tumanda na yung mga teachers, sila yung usually maaalala. Ah, si ganon, yung makulit na ganon. Pero hindi masama yung kahulugan sa amin nun. Mas naaalala lang sila, ewan ko ba bakit ganon. Yun lang talaga. <laughs> Ay, tama oh, tama si Mekman. Okay, so this is the word. Akala ng iba, ang pronunciation dito ay mischievous. Mischievous. Parang continuous. It's wrong. Hindi siya mischievous. It's pronounced as mischievous. Mischievous. It's not chi. Ch. Ch. Listen carefully. Mischievous. Mischievous. Again? Mischievous mischievous. When we say mischievous, it is an adjective that describes someone who likes to cause trouble because they think it is funny, not because they are malicious. So, ayun nga, medyo pasaway yung lagi nilang gustong gumawa ng bagay na mapapansin sila kasi akala nila nakakatuwa. Lahat ng bagay ginawa nilang nakakatuwa. Pasaway. Something like that. Alright? So, ganun ba kayo? Are you mischievous? Are you mischievous? So, para mas maganda pakinggan, no? Instead na, ang kulit-kulit, ang pasaway-pasaway mo, you can say, you're very mischievous. Magbago ka na. Please change your attitude. You're very mischievous. That's mischievous. It's not mischievous. It's mischievous. Alright? Next word. Malapit na tayo. <laughs> Next is... This one, we have, eto kanina. <laughs> Naalala ko tong salitang ito. Eto ba? Ano ba ang paborito ninyong palaman? Sige nga, bago ko ipakita to, ilalagay ko muna. Ilagay muna sa chat, uh, live chat natin. Ano yung favorite ninyong palaman sa tinapay? Ha? Ano pong favorite ninyong palaman? Sige nga, ba, ang paborito nyo bang, pag may nabasa akong ganun, saka ako ipapakita ito. Ang paborito ba ninyong palaman ay cheese, ketchup, sandwich spread, peanut butter. Meron ba sa inyong ang paborito? Paano nyo ito binibigkas? Paano? Ayan, ang bigkas nyo ba rito ay mayonnaise, mayonnaise or mayo, mayonnaise, or mayonnaise, mayonnaise. Ang sarap ng mayonnaise, lalo merong itlog. Tapos lalagyan mo ng konting, uh, yung siling pula, red bell pepper, tapos may queso, parang pimiento na yun, di ba? Mayonnaise, mayonnaise, o mayonnaise. Anong tama sa dalawa? <laughs> well, wala pong tawa, tama dun sa dalawa. Dahil ang tamang pronunciation dito ay, listen carefully, ang sound ng S dyan ay Z sound. It is mayonnaise. Again, it's mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. Alright? Ayan. Mayonnaise. Z sound po ah. Z sound. Mayonnaise. Alright? And the last one. Oh, hindi pa pala tayo last one. May dalawa na lang. Okay, this one we have, eto, hinihingi nyo to sa mga kainan. 
akala nila, or akala ng ibang pronunciation dito ay menu. Ah, menu. Menu. Alright? Menu. Which is wrong. Menu. Para siyang may isiningit ka na letter Y, ang correct pronunciation dito ay menu. Menu. Parang may silent Y dyan. Long U. Long sound of letter U. U. Menu. Alright? Menu. That's it. Menu. Pag dinugtungan nyo ng dom, menudo. 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 Minabasa lang sa comment. And the last one is this. Kapag nasisiraan kayo ng mga tubo sa bahay, binabasa yan ng mga unang nakakita, ang nakakabasa dyan na plumber. Plumber. <laughs> yeah, plumber. Okay? Pero po, silent B yan. Plumber. It is pronounced as plumber. Plumber. Again, plumber. Plumber. Okay, so when we say plumber, it is a repair man. Siya po yung repair In Filipino, it is tubero, who specializes in plumbing, toilets, faucets, sinks. Tubero. In Filipino, it's tubero. Siya yung repair ng mga sirang gripo, tubo, lababo. We call him as a plumber. All right. So again, those are the 20 commonly mispronounced words. At marami pa pang iba. Hindi lang to 20. Napakarami pang iba. Don't worry. Next time, ituturo ko rin yung iba sa inyo. At syempre, the best way para malaman nyo maging wide reader kayo. Magbasa po ng magbasa. Ulitin lang natin yung dalawang pong mga salita. Balikan lang natin. We have the first one, pronunciation. We have definitely, itinerary. We also have pseudonym, pseudonym. We also have library, library. Wednesday, Wednesday. Subtle, subtle. We also have debris, 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 debris. Next is ask, ask. We also have athlete, athlete. Next is epitome, epitome. We also have stomach, stomach. We also have calendar, calendar. Next is invitation, invitation. We also have berry, berry. Next we had aisle, aisle. Mischievous, mischievous. Mayonnaise, mayonnaise, menu, menu. And the last is plumber, plumber. And those are the 20 commonly mispronounced English words. Hindi lang yun ha, napakarami pang iba. Don't you worry, ituturo ko sa mga susunod nating live video. And again, thank you so much sa ating live audience tonight na nakasama ko. Pero bago natin tapusin, hayaan nyo munang batiin ko ang ating mga live viewers tonight. Siyempre, and just a great Canilo. Thank you, thank you. Si Teacher Margie Ang Truden in Nasa, Arizona. Si Akjisa Tuanda Apatan. Hello. Zandra Soliman. Jun Senico. Hello. Evangeline Francisco. Miss G. Hello sa'yo. Christina Galang watching from Cagayan de Oro. Hello po. Sige, mag-comment lang kayo para mabati ko po. Grace Pineda from Montalban Rizal. From Pampanga, si Re Resume Reyes. Rohani Sadidato from Tugagaraw. Clark, Kyle, PH, hello! Napakasipag na taga-comment to sa lahat ng video lessons. Thank you, I appreciate yung mga avid na nagbibigay ng comment. Ng, yung comments nyo kasi malaking tulong yun eh to motivate me. Pasensya na kung minsan hindi ko lang talaga maisa-isang mabasa. Pero once na ma-heart ko yun, ibig sabihin binabasa ko talaga lahat ng comments. No? Wala po akong pinapalagpas. Maria Janela, Miss Adeline from Malate, Manila. Shell is Calamito from Pampanga. Rohanisa from Tugigar. Basta ko na pala si Teacher Janet sa Turkey. Si English Era, subscribe ko sa the channel niya. Kung hindi pa pala yung mga recent collaborations namin, you must watch them. 
Sonia Rosales, Liza, Cheryl from Guimaras, Dio Medes from Giginto. <laughs> Hello po. Taga dyan yung mga in-laws ko sa Giginto, sa Chaong. Hello po. Gulano, Herlin. Rodel. Hello po, Jean. Christina, Maria Lorraine, Arian Tamayo from Nueva Ecija. Fantastic Alisa, hello sa inyo. From Alcobar, si Rodel Orbong. Juvi Madriaga, hello, Mekman. Siyempre, si Yen Yurel Badaguas, ang aking uh, loving husband. Ethel Delin, Robert Pandial, Philip, ang aking sujante, Teacher Ambit, Julian, ang dami ko nang nabati, ha? <laughs> ang ating si Daniel Baconawa, Mekman, hello, Rizel, from Tagum City. Aha! Dami nila. Thank you po. Sa inyo, Lina, Gina, Kepoy. Mas masarap pong pala, mga kapatid ko. Pero kalokohan, very mischievous. Alright. Dami, no? Hi. Thank you, Noel Miguela. Nako, ah. Lagi kang mag-abang. Marami pa akong upcoming lives. Thank you, Diego Bangkud. Thank you, Diane. Oh, you sure? Next time, idioms. Diana Reyes. Jojo Huriel from Macau. Hello po, kumusta dyan? Thank you, Mitch. Ayan. At sa inyong lahat, Maria Lorraine Flores from Quezon. Clyde Valiesfin from Karuhatan, Valenzuela. Ang lapit nyo lang sa amin dito sa Mikawayan. So, thank you so much po sa inyong lahat. Hindi ko na thank you, thank you. Ang ganda lang sa Thank you, Yen. And sa lahat po, Maraming maraming salamat po uh, for spending your Sunday with me. ba diba? Sunday ngayon, dapat papahinga kayo, chill-chill lang, pero nag-aral pa rin kayo. <laughs> salamat, actually, very uh, sincere from my heart na miss ko talaga kayo. No? Si Rowena Pamatong, hello from Lanao. Magandang gabi po. Na miss ko kayo kasi ang tagal kong hinintay na maging maayos yung internet connection namin. And ayun, nagbunga na may paghihintay, naging maayos kasi pinalitan yung router. I think mas okay na siya. So nangangkulugan, makakapag-live ako madalas dahil okay na yung connection. Thank you so much. Kung may request kayo, sige, uh, i-comment lang ninyo. And syempre, ini-invite ko kayo na i-like yung FB page. Mag-follow kayo at mag-like sa FB page na Learn English with Teacher Aubrey. Alright? Learn English with Teacher Aubrey. Hello, Evangeline Francisco. Shout out daw natin yung The Sister. Hello, shout out sa The Sister. Ayan, thank you po sa inyong lahat. Juvi Madriaga. Ayan, bukas ulit. <laughs> Ayan, um, marami pa po mag-like, mag-like and follow kayo sa Learn English with Teacher Aubrey, pati sa TikTok ko na obrey.bermudez. Kasi soon, maglalagay na rin ako ng contents doon. Abangan nyo yung mga upcoming videos pa natin. Thank you so much to all of you. At bago ko tapusin ng video na ito, nais ko muna ipaalala sa inyong lahat na ano man ang inyong mga edad. Isabi sa buhay o narating sa buhay kung mayroon kayong mga pangarap po lang, imposible basta lagi lamang pong pagsisikapan at pagsasanayan. See you on our next live video lessons. Bye and good night!